when it comes to caliber size, it ultimately depends on your personal preference and comfort level. Personally, I feel rather confident I can defend myself with a good 380 semi-auto, but it is the smallest caliber that I would normally consider for self-defense. The Bursa Thunder has earned a reputation for being a sturdy, reliable firearm. Much of its styling and features are also shared by its 380 caliber cousins, the Sig Sar P232 and the Walter PPK. But don't let the lower price of the Bursa throw you off. It's a very well-made, reliable, and accurate little workhorse that can more than hang in there with its more expensive cousins. Like the PPK, the Burst of Thunder has a standard magazine release just behind the trigger guard on the frame. It also has a slide-mounted safety decocking lever like the PPK. The hammer spur is rounded and nicely knurled, making it easy to draw back with the thumb. Like the Sig Sar, the Burst of Thunder has a rocker-style extractor and excellent three-dot sights. Unlike the Sig Sauer, though, the Bursa's rear sight can be adjusted for windage with an adjustment screw. Pretty handy feature on a pistol with a relatively short sight radius. The three-dot sights are proportional, with the front sight dot being slightly larger than the two rear dots. Since the front sight is farther away than the rear sight, all three dots appear the same size when aimed. As insignificant as this might sound, having all three alignment dots appear the same size really helps improve sighting accuracy. The Thunder 380 is remarkably fit and trim, making it perfect for concealed carry. To me, it's a tad on the larger end of the scale to be considered a true pocket pistol with its 3.5 inch barrel, but it still fits just fine in a coat or jacket pocket. Or for you ladies, it fits nicely in even a smaller purse. At 20 ounces, the pistol's weight isn't all that noticeable. One of the things that's always aggravated me with both the SIG 232 and the Walther PPK is their small tang. I can't possibly count the times over the years when those two pistols gave me a dose of slide bite. Bursa eliminated this problem by slightly lowering and extending the tang on the Thunder 380. In spite of having very large hands, the Burst of Thunder is also one of the few compacts that I can get a decent grip on, without having my little finger float off the bottom of the grip. For me, that improves my accuracy potential with this pistol by allowing for a decent grip. The gun's mass is evenly distributed throughout the frame, which helps transfer recoil energy down into the hand rather than kicking the barrel up. This reduces felt recoil, which makes for a quicker target acquisition between shots. Recoil from the 380 round is very light in this pistol, making it an excellent choice for older people with arthritis issues. My mother, bless her heart, who's in her 80s now, keeps this exact model next to her bed in her nightstand drawer. You bad guys beware. She darn sure knows how to use it, too. Recently, ammo makers have been tweaking the 380 cartridge to get the maximum performance out of the caliber. I've obtained excellent accuracy, penetration, and expansion results from Hornady's 90 grain XTP and their 90 grain critical defense hollow points. Either of these rounds meet the FBI's minimum effective penetration standard of 12 inches. As with all straight blowback operated semi automatic pistols, the Bursa's barrel is fixed to the gun's frame. The recoil spring surrounds the barrel, eliminating the need for a guide rod and this reduces the slide's overall height, giving it that classic rakish appearance that even James Bond would approve. Just a quick note here, the recoil spring does have opposing smaller and larger ends. During reassembly, just make sure the tighter end of the spring slides over the barrel first for correct assembly. Then just finish reversing the disassembly process. 
The front and back straps of the Bursa's lightweight frame are finished with eight vertical grip serrations, while the front of the trigger guard is finished with ten horizontal grooves, which form a nice trigger finger rest. The base of the magazine forms a finger extension for the grip. When the seven round magazine is removed from the gun, the trigger is disconnected, keeping the gun from firing any round that may still be in the chamber. I suppose my only real gripe is that the Bursa came with only one seven round magazine. Fortunately, I didn't have any trouble finding extra magazines for this pistol at a number of places, including eBay. Just a word of caution, steer clear of ProMag magazines for this pistol. I had some reliability issues with theirs. It's the only time I ever experience any feeding issues whatsoever with this pistol. Stick with Bursa's factory magazines or those made by Metgar. They work perfectly. For those of you who might have youngsters in the house and don't own a lockbox or gun safe, the pistol has a lock-in feature located on the frame just above the trigger. A small key comes with the pistol that can be utilized to safely lock out the firing mechanism should you decide to apply this feature. There is one control feature found on the Thunder 380 that I haven't seen on any other 380 Auto, and that is a slide lock lever. Personally, I like this feature because it allows me to inspect the chamber for a loaded round without having to manually hold open the slide without a magazine in place. The double action trigger pull measured out at 9 pounds on my trigger gauge, while the single action pull was a fairly crisp 4 pounds. Not bad at all for a pistol of this type. Overall, the Bursa Thunder is an excellent pistol for the money. It's accurate, reliable, soft shooting, and is priced under $300, making it affordable for most people. If you're in the market for a good 380, do yourself a favor and take a closer look at the Bursa Thunder.